Hey YouTube. So um yeah, so my buddy Ryan's dad, uh Bob, let me borrow this uh leaf sweeper. Uh he said it had some issues with it. Um, you know, it seemed like it worked and it didn't want to work, so bring it over here, hooked it up to my foil, started pulling around the yard and I noticed that it would only sweep, you know, a part of the time. And I'm like, hmm, what's going on? So Never really worked on one of these before, so I decided to take it apart. And let me show you how this works here. So this gear goes up in here like this. Let me see. First, um, first you have this pin, right? You have this uh, pin here. Pin goes in here. You have this gear right here that goes on here. This other gear slides on here like this. And now what happens is when the tires spin forward like this. What they do is they turn this gear backwards so we can see which way it's going. So I'll just take this off. And um, so when you spin this backwards, look, it's not doing anything. In here, that's supposed to turn. It's not doing anything. Let me go to the other side. Let me show you. Same thing. I'll pull this gear off here. I'll take this pin. Here, let me kind of just turn this back here. I'll put this pin back in here. And I'll show you what the pin does or are supposed to do here in a minute. So we'll take this and put this back on. Now watch this. You see this? Now when I spin it, see how it's trying to move? Right? See it? But watch what happens when you put a lot of pressure on this. Watch the gear. Ah, it's popping. It's not really catching. So I started looking at this and I'm like, why is this happening? So I took it off. Take this pin back out. And if you look right here... Oh, wrong way. Okay, so as that pin that goes to the center of the axle right here, right? When you spin this, this piece will spin and that pin is supposed to catch this slip right here. Once it catches this slip, it locks in and it causes this axle to be able to turn. The reason why they made this is because if the tires roll backwards, It'll spin feely, and that little pin will just kind of slide, spin, slide, spin, and it won't. It really, it won't catch this groove here. So it'll just slide, slide. So when you spin it backwards, these won't spin backwards, and like be throwing leaves up forward and be clogging up all this right here. So it's only meant to be pulled forward. Well, here's the problem. If you look really closely, if my phone would uh, focus, you see this right here. It's got a dimple in there where it's so badly worn out that the pin, once it's hitting there, it can't actually catch. So what it does is when this thing goes to pick up leaves and go to do any, you know, go to catch anything, there's so much resistance on the brushes, it's just popping out. So it's rolling, popping, rolling, popping, rolling, popping, rolling, popping. What I'm thinking is I might be able to weld this right here uh, I might be able to weld that flush, um, you know, judging by what kind of metal this is, I would have to do it to both of them, and I have to be very careful because then I would kind of have to, like, um, uh, file it down, make sure it looks really nice, but, um, so, yeah, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to attempt to try to fix this, and we'll see what happens. Alright guys, so I'm back at it today, um, so, alright, so this is what I did, um, to fix this. I already put this side together, but what I wanted to do is show you here. What I did, if you remember the dimples that we had in the metal, I just took my welder, you know, I'm not the best welder, but I just kind of tacked it up here so it's nice and um, it's even now. So when that pin goes all the way around, it'll actually stop, have something to actually rest on. Um, and then of course when it goes to reverse, it'll still work. So basically the pin comes around, works. Um, I already put this side together, it seems to be working fine. All right, guys. So, okay, so we got everything um, together here, and so what I did, uh, we got that welded up. So how this thing goes together is uh, first we got our washer. Let's just turn this guy a little bit so we can put our pin in. So what you're gonna do is um, slide your pin in here. What I did is I greased up this already, greased up this shaft. We're good to go. Put some grease around the, um, the gear here. What you want to do is very important. This uh, I don't know if this is brass or not, but this washer. Um, is very important uh, for our spacer and I'll show you why here in a second. So we'll line this up, that dropped in, as you can see clicking, doesn't look like it's slipping anymore, it's great. So as you can see now when you get your C-clip here, right here, 
So you get your C clip here. Oh, I put it on. You push this thing on here. It falls into play right here. That washer that's in there helps take out some of that slack that's in here. So this thing right here won't slip. This, slide this on. You see, nice and tight. No slippage anymore. You know, the real test can be when we try to use it. So we take this, lift this up right here. We'll get this wheel out of here. Uh, of course, don't forget to um, put your cover on. Slide this here. So I'll just put this up underneath here real quick so I can get this on. So we'll just take this. This up, snap that into place like that. Get this plastic here. I think this plastic's kind of worn out a little bit. So we got that. Then we take our wheel, slide our wheel on here. Make sure in the back here the pegs are aligned it with the wheel so when it rolls. Take our washer. Of course, like I said, gonna clean this stuff off a little bit there. Got that. Put our sleeve clamp in. And there we go. After knocking my phone down, it's kinda hard doing this by yourself. So, we got that, and she's together. It's good to go. Now what we're gonna do is try her out and see how she works. So guys, um, yeah, it looks like it's working. Check this out. Oh yeah. Put it out, put it out of the leaves. I think we're in business. Yeehaw, guys. Alright, thanks for watching. Another successful job.